This is TJ with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to the channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. And as you saw, we're going to take a, a Linux desktop, this plain Jane desktop, and we're going to customize it to this. But we're not just doing that. I made this video for beginners as well. People that are interested in Linux, maybe how to install Linux. So we're going to go through the, the install process. It's really simple, really easy. It's going to be fast. Um, and then we're going to go and customize the desktop. If you're already a Linux user and you just want to see the customization that I'm doing here, then you can go in about 12, 13 minutes and that's when, this, that's when the customization starts. But my whole purpose of this is I just want to open people's eyes on the world of Linux and the, and the Linux desktop and how easy it is. It's point click. We're not going to the command line to do any of this kind of stuff. Everything's just point click and we're done. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go through this really quick because we've got to get we've got to get on the desktop. So um, I'll leave these links. All the links will be in the descriptions below. But we're just going to go here to Linux Mint to download. And there's going to be what they call. So we're going to download the Cinnamon version, and we're going to download the, the Edge version. The Edge version is for PCs. You could say five years or newer. Um, if you have an older PC, you can do the you can just do the Cinnamon version. But we're going to go ahead and do the Edge version. I've already downloaded it just to save time and then also what we're going to do it depends on if you have your own if you have a way to create a bootable uh, disk drive to install an operating system then you can use that or you can use Belina Etcher and I'll have this again in the description below and this is just the portable version in other words we don't have, you don't have to install it uh, it's just a standalone exe file so we'll open this up and we're going to select our file and we're just going to select it from the download and we're going to do this edge one and then um, and then we're going to select our target and we're going to do this right here and yes you can see it's 500 back so um, I <clears throat> um, then we're going to flash this and it it knows that it's a big a big drive so it says are you sure you want to do that but yeah this is just a portable uh, NVMe drive we say yes and then we're just going to let that go after it's done we can just pull it out and we can install Linux Mint that's all there is to it okay so here I am at my boot menu again according to your BIOS and everything how you get into that uh, you'll have to look that up mine's F9 but I'm just going to go ahead and hit this and now it's just going to uh, start booting that up and it'll come up here and it'll say start Linux Mint and of course we're going to hit yes and then it will start it. Uh, it'll load up Linux Mint. Now it's not installing Linux Mint. It's going to give us a live version of Linux Mint so that we could try it out if we want to. And this is the advantage of, of Linux. Most li Linux distributions allow you to try it from a thumb drive or, or whatever you're booting up with. Um, so in a minute here, we'll just go ahead and go into that. Okay, so here we are at the Linux desktop, and this is what I mean how you can try it out. Now, it's, it is showing the drive that I'm going to uh, install this on. Um, normally, if, you, if it hadn't been formatted, it wouldn't show up here. So, uh, here's an install disk right here, but it allows you again that you can just try it out. You can surf the web, you can do, you can do a, a few, you can install apps on here. Of course, the apps won't be any good once you uh, turn it off. It just allows you to test the Linux distro out, and it, and it's not just again not not just Linux Mint. So you can kind of get a flavor for it before you even install it. But we're just going to go ahead and, and double click on this, and we're going to install this right now. Um, and uh, the install is is really straightforward and easy. Now, what I would recommend is I'd recommend you not uh, if, if you're installing this on your personal system, it will there will be an option where you can install it alongside of Windows. I personally wouldn't do that if you had some type of drive, even a thumb drive that you could install it on just to uh, mess around with it, uh, maybe unhook your hard drive, um, uh, especially if you're just testing it out. Um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't install it because it'll install and it'll allow you to dual boot, but uh, you don't really want to do that if you're just testing it out. But anyway, this is how you install it. So we're going to continue here with the English um, keyboard, English. It's really straightforward install. And we're gonna install the media codes. You always wanna install those. And then um, it will automatically uh, recognize 
He just hit yes to all this stuff. It says it wants to create a partition. And because I already have something on here, we're going to erase this. See how it says uh, install alongside? If you had Windows on here, it would say you want to install alongside with Windows. But uh, again, we're just going to erase the full disk. And we're just going to install this. And again, it's just telling you everything's going to be wiped out. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Choose your time zone. And we got to put in our username. And uh, this is an HP Z440 workstation. And I'm just going to do uh, LM for Linux Mint. Put in a password. And I'm just going to put in a simple password for this demonstration. And now this, this right here is up to you. So, um, I like to, I just automatically like to log on when it boots up. I know some people don't do that. This one requires a password just to log in. Um, it's my computer, nobody is around it. It's not that big a deal. So I'm just gonna hit continue. And now just wait for it to install. And we'll be right back as soon as it's done. And as soon as it's done, it'll ask you to, to reboot the computer. You just hit reboot. And it's done so when we come back i'll already be rebooted into the computer because we're really trying to save time because we just want to show you a few things on the desktop with linux mint and then we want to modify it so if you're installing linux mint for the first time you're going to have to install the updates and that is a little icon down right here um, and if you can or you can go here to things to do first and if you go down here you have update manager go ahead and launch that and it's going to just hit OK. It's going to want to update. And then it's then all these updates are going to have to be done. So we're going to go ahead and make those updates really quick. And we'll come back when it's done. The screen that you're going, to, you're going to get when you first boot up, we've already made the updates. And we're going, to, we're going to start over here. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick tour. If you've never seen Linux before, um, a lot of them have kind of a, a Windows-style uh, uh, toolbar and access so over here we've got our office and and this is this one comes with LibreOffice and there's our word processor right there it comes with spreadsheet presenting software so on and so forth so um, and then uh, we've got uh, and it, anyway it just comes with the internet graph there's graphic cards for picture viewing it comes with everything that you really need to get going um, and actually a little bit more because it does come with a free office um, when you when you're running Linux, let's just take a look at a quick look at the file manager. This is how you get, you copy your files, move your files around. Is right here. This is your file manager, and I this is my favorite file manager that comes with uh, Linux. But Cinnamon, it's called the Nemo file manager um, on Linux. Uh, all the file, a lot of the file managers um, distros have different file managers for them, but you can also uh, install any file manager that you really want to. So. Uh, so you're not limited to the file manager that comes with the distro that you're using. Um, but and then the other thing that's really nice is that all of them come with some type of uh, software manager. My personal opinion is, is Linux Mint has one of the best software managers uh, by far. Um, you've got this graphical interface to access it. A lot of them have two, but this one just has a lot of categories, a lot of uh, apps. Uh, and you'll notice down here, here's some categories that you have uh, those are fonts and you've got games so on and so forth but if I want to install something take for instance um, this this uh, Linux Mint is, comes with Firefox install but if you want Google we just type Google in here and we can go ahead and install Google Chrome here and one of the things uh, too that you may not realize that a lot of things that you learn you uh, use on your on your computer are on Windows are actually on on the on Linux. So here's Spotify, uh, you know here's Zoom, and so on and so forth. I mean, even if we type in say uh, video, yeah, VCL player. Uh, you have a whole bunch of video stuff in here. You've got uh, um, you've got you should have Handbrake in here, OBS, uh, Shotcut is really um, easy to use video editing tool than Kaden Live is a little bit more 
advanced and so on and so forth so there's lots of options for installing software um, and, and in my particular case as you saw before um, I actually I'm, I actually like to use only office and so I, I'll, a lot of times I'll just install only office um, and so that's that's the store but we're not here to take a complete tour of, 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 of a Linux desktop we want to just show I want to show you how easy it is to modify this customize this laptop this uh, desktop so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch this uh, desktop color you can get the same way right here for because we're really going to go into system settings and actually so we're, we're just going to launch this right here which is our system settings and we're going to do everything everything we're going to do here we're going to do from the system settings um, but one of the first things I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, <clears throat> I'm going to go to backgrounds here and Linux Mint comes with some mint backgrounds and that comes with some extra backgrounds that are that are in here. They've got a refresh. I haven't opened these up yet. This fresh install. And so there's quite a few to go down. Um, there's quite a few to choose from. Uh, but uh, of course, I always like to just go grab my own. So what and if you had any pictures, the uh, pictures would be in here. Plus, you can you can also make a slideshow out of your out of your background. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to grab, I'm going to go into pictures. I've already got them in here. I've got wallpaper here. I'm going to open these up and we're going to go grab that wallpaper that we saw before, but all you have to do is click on it and then you can get a preview uh, of whatever is here, so on and so forth. And so we're going to get this one here. Um, this is one that we had. And so now we've got a wallpaper. So let's go back here. And the other thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to edit the panel just for a minute here. So what I want to do here is uh, you can you can go to panel from here, okay, or you can go right mouse click on it and go to panel settings. So that's how you get to the panel there. And uh, I accidentally closed the settings tab. Didn't mean to do that. So here we are with our panel, and uh, what we're going to do is. We are going to put this in. We're gonna we're gonna put this part in edit mode because if it, so basically if we don't put this in edit mode, then we can go ahead and we can we can move these around, put these icons where we want. But we're gonna do something different. We're gonna put when we put it in edit mode, it's gonna create. You, it might be hard to see uh, what you're looking at, but right here in the middle is a as a color that's a little bit different and so what we can do is we can drag these it's a and then it'll lock these icons in the center and I personally like them in the center so I'm just gonna put everything in the center here and that's what we had before when we first started so that's how we do that so really easy to do everything's a click click away nothing and then we're gonna turn editing that part off then we could still move stuff around in here if we wanted to but so now let's just go ahead and what we're going to do here is we're going to go to applets and when we click on applets uh, these are the ones that are are installed but if you go here to download there's a lot more applets that you can choose from in here and um, I think I'm gonna uh, and so what applets are is there they are apps that go on the panel or the toolbar so uh, you can go through these look at them uh, at this point the ones that I want to put on the toolbar are already pre-installed, but you can go ahead and go through and and I don't know all these all what all these are that, that go on there. So uh, there's quite a few, and this is popularity, and then you can do it by name or date, whatever you want to do that. But what whoops, what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put this one this expo in. Um, Linux has had uh, multiple desktops for a long time, or virtual desktops. For a long time and so i'm going to add this here because that will give me a, a quick access to my virtual desktops and when i click on this here then my virtual desktop should show up here now if for some reason your desk the only one desktop shows up here because i have seen it happen before i don't know why but I, i've done an install of uh, linux mint default is to have four of them but if you want more you just hit this button and it'll create another one if you want to get rid of them you just exit out um, so, so that's what that's what that little icon does there, that little expo. Okay, one thing I should mention now on the applets. Let's click on the applets real quick, and then uh, see this uh, this one right here. 
Um, I was looking for uh, a different launcher, uh, application launcher, and this was not the one. So now what I want to do to get rid of that, I just hit the X here and it'll go ahead and remove that from the system. This is the one that I wanted. Let me show you this one. This one's really cool. Um, and so kind of more like a Windows 11 or, or GNOME type. So you click on this and then it'll show you the apps here instead of this is our, our typical access to our apps. Um, but this one, I like this one a lot better. And wherever you've left off, when you click on it, that's where it's going to come back when you're on it. So if I'm, again, if I'm on Office here, click on it, it it's on Office. And then all my favorites are down here. Um, I like this launcher a lot, a lot better. So my point is, is that you need, if you're going to try this out, if you're going to go to this, go through the discos. There's a whole bunch. I don't know what they all do, but this just gives you an idea. All right, so that's how those are those are our applets again they are they're all functions for the toolbar now what we're going to do we're going to do disklets and disklets is where it becomes fun so let's just go ahead and uh, now in here um, we're going to have to um, add a few of these in here so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do um oh let's add this one Okay, I think I added the ones that I think I need. So now let's just go ahead and we're going to put this clock. We just hit the plus button to put it on. And there's our clock. And we're going to do this simple monitor. And uh, we're going to put that over here. And then we're going to do, um, oh, this calendar. And we'll put that on there. And these are the ones that I showed you before. These are the ones that we had on there. So what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to edit these really quick and so you just right mouse click on them or when you are or you can click on them here in here and 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 hit the setup button and so that's how you do that um, but I'm not going to do anything with this actually I'm going to change the font color um, and this is for the CPU one I'm going to change that font color select there and then over here I'm going to um, let's go to configure and I'm going to change all these font colors as well. Just like that. And then um, let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, there's one more thing I was going to do. Oh, 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 that's right. I want to just make this font just a little smaller. Maybe right about there. And. Let's see what that's like. Maybe a little smaller. And also too, I want to make it 100% uh, transparent. Make that just a t tad, tad smaller. Move this over. And then we got those. That's how uh, that's how easy it was to create those. Now, what I'm going to do with the clock is um, I'm going to go into the settings here, and uh, I'm going to pick a different clock. And this is the one here that we had. And what you're going to notice here, when that clock that was on here, there's a moon here. And I thought, oh man, if I put that clock over the moon, it's going to look. It'll kind of blend into the background. Um, and so that's what I did. So now we got to get rid of, we got to make it transparent. And so all we have to do is just hide decorations right here and apply that. And now we're just going to set this over here. We've got to make it a little bigger. So we'll cover that. I think, uh, I think that's about right, right there. Uh, not a little more. Then we just pull this over a little bit. Now these don't snap exactly the way you would want them to, so kind of just have to do them. So I think I there we go. So there's my clock, and so that's all I did to create that. Is um, again, these are the uh, disklets. The disklets are widgets that go on the desktop. Applets are the widgets that go on the toolbar. Now what we want to do though is we want to go to extensions. And, uh, and in here, we need to download a couple of uh, a 
uh, one extension and we're going to do the wobbly windows and uh, now I'm, oh, I'm going to do this by name now one of the things that you don't want to do is um, <clears throat> and maybe it could be a video card I don't I don't know why but when I did this one with this particular system this wobbly windows didn't work right but there's another wobbly windows that you can install and that one does work um, and I've got to go find it here in just a sec okay it's right here so we're just going to download this here and then we're going to go to manage and then we'll click on it we're going to add that and now we should have wobbly windows there you go that's all there is to that okay then the next thing we're going to do and we're just about done <clears throat> is we're going to go to themes and when you go to themes it's going to be on this simple and but you can you can go dark mode but what we're going to do is we're going to go to advance and we're going to go and actually in here in themes you've got these different mice or different pointers that you can do um, and we'll, we'll come to the rest of these here in a minute and if you go into the software manager you can download more fonts or more of these as well but let's just click on desktop here um, actually before we click on desktop I forgot we need to go to add and remove themes and um, the theme now I believe there is a disk look that allows me to make this uh, toolbar uh, transparent but there's also uh, one of these themes that does the same thing and this C blue if we download that theme then we go over here to themes and we choose it, oops, and we choose it right here, then that'll make everything transparent. So, um, which is great. So there we have our, there we have our, that part there. Now, before you saw that I had uh, an icon over here for the file manager, and the way we do that is we go to desktop here, and right here we just turn on home, or you can put on the trash can if you want. Let's put on the trash can, and so on and so forth. So that's how that's how you do that. Um, and I always like to have those on there. I don't always have the trash can on there. But see, also now see how it's 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 locked to grid. So we're gonna we're gonna change that as well. So if we right mouse click on the desktop and we go to customize, right in here. Um, we could just turn auto range off. There we go. So now we can just put these. Now you see how see how far apart those are. If we go here to custom, um, these can kind of adjust. You can you can adjust how far apart those icons are. So now if we move this. It's going to be closer. So let's go ahead and move this now. So there you go. So that's all there is to it. Now we got one more thing to adjust. Let's go back to themes and let's choose our folder color. And I like this one here. Um, actually, let's see. There might be. Uh, let's see that one. Ah, no. This one is the one I like. And uh, let's see, let's just see something here. Yep, I'm just gonna do that one. That should be that should be everything that we had on that screen. Okay, on the other desktop, we had only Office sitting here on the toolbar, so let's do that. I already uh, installed it through the software store, but I do want to show you something also too. Steam is also on here that's available as well, and you can game on Linux. Um, and Linux now, if games through Steam, you're talking 85, 90% of the games can play through Steam. And but we're not here to talk about gaming. Let's go ahead and get only Office on there. We're just going to right mouse click on this, add it to the panel, panel, and there we go. And that's it. Okay, there's one more thing we got to change here. Good date and time. You've got that, but. We need to take it off 24 hour so it displays it down here right and 
And there's pretty much it now. I will go into the file manager here for a minute because this file manager, oh, and let's go back into, I just realized, let's go back into the settings. Let's go back into themes. There we go. We need this right here. We're gonna choose our button. I think I choose the purple before. So let's choose that, and that's a dark one. So that that's what makes that's what's making our dark theme is that right there. And so, and I'm thinking that that is all I need to change. Now, this uh, browser, um, just so you know, you can change. And, and just let me just show you something real quick here. So we're in here. If you want to see details on your files, you can do that here. Um, there's columns that you can add in here other than ones that are here uh, for more details you can see permissions all kinds of stuff that you can do if you go into the preferences and tell it what you want to, to see on these files in your in your folder so anyway but what I was going to show here is that um, when we're in here we can change the size of these and I changed the size of them a little bit it's about right there and then I kind of maybe just shrunk this down a little bit just so um, I'd have more screen and that was basically, uh, that's basically <clears throat> what we had before is this right here. Um, and again, it's our little clock here and hopefully I can get that back where it belongs. And so, um, so you can see how easy it was for me, just a, a few clicks away, click, click, click. And I was able to make this desktop um, how I wanted. And this is the whole thing about, um, this whole thing about Linux is that Linux is very flexible and uh, I'm going to be doing another there's another desktop that I really like that is even more customizable than this but I do use Linux Mint as my personal desktop so anyway this is TG with Tech Made Easy I hope that was helpful I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with your desktop in Linux uh, and a little bit about a little intro to the Linux desktop have a great day now that was easy peasy.